Welcome to Green Hell VR for Steam VR. I'm Substatica, and we're going to be checking out some of the mechanics in Green Hell VR, starting with crafting. But before we can craft, we need to collect. And we're going to start by collecting stones. Not these big stones, though. We want to collect small stones and just throw them over our shoulder into our pack. And next, we're going to be looking for rope and sticks. So, there is a stick. And I see some rope on this tree here. Now, with sticks, stones, and rope, you can make yourself what you need to get started in Green Hell VR. Now, you can cut down a tree with a stone, but it takes forever. So you want to make some tools first. Now, we're going to open up our crafting table here. And we're going to start with those stones that we collected. We're going to take two. And two stones makes us a stone blade. And we're going to take another two. And we're going to make another stone blade. And this one we'll just put in here. And then we're going to take another two. And we're going to make another stone blade. And we'll put that one over there as well. Now we're going to take one of our sticks from our stick slot up there. And we're going to combine it with a stone blade and a piece of rope to make a stone pickaxe. And that's going to help us chop down trees a lot quicker than with a stone. This time, we're going to get a long stick for our crafting table. And a long stick by itself will make you a weak spear. But if we add one of our stone blades and a piece of rope, we get a stone spear. Much better. That's great for poking crawly things. Now we're going to grab some more rope. Come on, rope. And we're going to see if we can find another long stick. Should be another one over here. There we are. Throw that on our crafting table. Along with our rope. And we can make ourselves a bow. Although it pictured an arrow, it doesn't come with an arrow. We have to make arrows out of feathers and sticks. But we're going to have to find some bird's nests or some birds or kill some birds to get some feathers to make some arrows. But for now, we've got our pickaxe. We've got another stone blade that can go on our other hip. We've got our spear. And we've got our bow. So, pretty well equipped to start our adventure. As I was coming over here, I noticed the distinctive yellow flowers of the Moliniera plant. And that's going to allow us to craft some bandages. That's all you need. Now we got bandages in case we hurt ourselves. Ah, oh, the sun came out. How pleasant. A lot of rope around here. We do need a lot of rope in this game. So don't be shy. Give it a yank. And I see 
some civilization or remnants of it. And we've got some wonderful god rays coming through as well. Alright, before it gets too dark, let's make ourselves a fire and a bed to sleep on. So, start with a small fire, and I'm going to build it under this overhang in case it rains. We've got one stick here, and I like to angle the sticks down when I chop them, and then hopefully they will fall into place. They don't always... go two more there's one and that should be two once it goes green you're good okay now we actually have to build a fire starting device and we have to find some dry leaves fire plow there it is and we'll put our dry leaves in there get them nice and hot and then we'll put them in the fire slot oh that's good okay so now let's see what we can cook up hopefully our fire has enough cover that in one slot put that in the other slot and while they cook let's make ourselves a bed this thing doesn't count as a as a bed so shelter leaf bed 10 palm leaves oh go around one more time Looks good. Let's not walk in the fire. Now, there were a bunch of palm leaves on the ground over here. There's one, two. Oh, it's looking cozy. burned our meat burned I think we'll be okay eating burned meat yeah we got protein out of it there we go we have our leaf bed so let's get some rest and we'll pick things up in the morning Another glorious morning in the jungle. And on this fine morning, I thought we'd try our hand at fishing. But in order to do that, we've got to craft ourselves a fishing rod. And for that, we need a long stick, a Brazil nut shell, two feathers, and some rope. So for Brazil nut shells, I'd like to look at the base of these large trees. You got some wild boars over there. So just keep your hands out. There's one right there. Now, aside from making the fishing rod, ooh, we also need a hook and some bait. A hook we can make out of bones if we find a carcass. 
And bait can be grubs or maggots. Maggots we can also find on a carcass. Our fire is still going. Let's see. We can throw our cassava bulb on there as we look for the rest of our fishing rod crafting items. So we need a bone. So we'll listen for flies and that would indicate a carcass. We will also need feathers. Now feathers you can get just lying on the ground if you see them or you can get them if you find a bird's nest or a dead bird or you can go bird hunting. Okay, I don't need to know the effects of consumption of that, but we probably got some parasites out of picking it up. Don't want to get too far from camp, but we're not having, oh, I was going to say we're not having much luck as far as feathers, but this is going to give us plenty of feathers. So we'll put that over our shoulder. We've got some meat. All right. Now that we have some feathers, we need... Oh, look at that. There's maggots, which are also good bait, and a bone, which we need as well. So let's head back to camp. And I believe we have what we need to craft ourselves a fishing rod and do some fishing. All right, let's get our crafting table out and we'll grab our pack. Start with our Brazil nut, crack it open, and the shell goes on the table, and the nuts go in our mouth. That's right. And the other nuts go in our pack. Now we also need two feathers. Whoa! Feathers do drift. Okay, we need a long stick and some rope. And we have ourselves a fishing rod. So we can put that in our pack right there. Now for the hook, we're going to take a bone and we end up with two bone needles after we whack it a bit and put a bone needle on the crafting table and we can make a bone hook. And we can take that bone hook and insert it into the hook slot on our fishing rod. Now we can take our maggots and put them on as bait. We do have the grubs, but they're a bit big for the fish in this area, it would seem. So now we just need to find a nice spot to fish from. Kind of looks nice over there. I did see some fish. Can we jump up here? Yeah, there's some fish down there. Little ones. Don't want to fall in. Maybe over on this rock would be good. Oh, I think I see a bird's nest over there, but let's stick with fishing. All right. Let's just toss it in. Come on, I see ya.
I may try to cast it a bit closer just because you saw that kind of green disturbance in the water, those ripples. Let's toss it a little bit further. Let's, uh, let's reposition. Okay. It's a game of patience. Get it just a little further. There we go. And we got him. Tiny little fish that looks a bit dangerous to eat. Discus fish. Effects of consumption unknown, as with everything. All right. Let's put our rod away for now. And we'll move on to something else. Shrew, it's hot. But we've got some sticks and we've got some feathers. So let's try our hand at hunting. Get our crafting table, put a small stick on there, put another small stick beside, open up our pack, grab one feather, two feathers, and that allows us to craft an arrow. Just throw that over the shoulder, you can see it appeared in there. We've got another small stick, another one feather, another two feathers, and another arrow. That one fell. Come on out of there. Okay, we've got our two arrows there. Now we can grab our bow. Put our pack on our back. And we are ready to go hunting. Now I saw some wild boar over there. So we'll grab an arrow and we can knock it by sliding it from the string side forward is the way that I've found it works the best. And that will stay knocked while we stalk our prey. Let's get low. You want to go for headshots. Otherwise, you're going to have to take more than one shot. Okay, I see one of them there. Easy does it. That's a headshot. Again, string side forward. Two down. We'll put the bow over our shoulder. Get our arrows back. First thing. Hmm. Got a bone. Oh. We got lots of good stuff out of this critter thanks buddy it's for a good cause we're saving the world and then we'll go harvest his friend over here think that's everything
Okay. We are walking slow and we are dirty. Let's just check ourselves for injury. I don't see any injury, but it seems like we're overburdened. So I think what we'll do is go cook up this meat or just throw it on our drying rack once we get to camp in about a half hour at this pace. All right, we made it back to camp. We were overburdened. We are still close, 49.8 out of 50. Uh, but what we'll do is take... some of these steaks and throw them on the drying rack here. Did that go in a slot? Got to make sure it goes in a slot. Burned negative two sanity. I actually like burned meat. I don't think that's fair. Mmm. Charcoal goodness. And this macaw meat can go over there too. What else do we have? Grubs. We've got a coconut. What we'll do with the coconut. Is we'll get our crafting table. And we'll combine it with some rope to get our bidon or um, canteen, if you rather. That's going to help us carry soups and water around. Okay, let's just snack on some nuts. Sun's getting low. I think we'll make a fire, maybe cook up the fish that we caught. And we'll pick things up in the morning. Ah, uh, this is the life. We've got our fire going. We're on our leaf bed. We've got some shelter. We've got meat cooking. Everything we need to fill ourselves up for another day tomorrow of new and exciting things. Mmm, that's some good macaw. Oh, rise and shine, Mia. Oh, that's right. Well, regardless, we've got another glorious sunrise in the green hell. And today we are going to try building ourselves a structure. So daylight's a wasting. Let's get our notebook and we'll start with a frame. Now, I kind of want something that faces. I don't know if we want to face the sunset or the sunrise. Maybe maybe that kind of kind of get both. Or neither, depending. There we go. I like that. So we need four logs. This might take a while. Green means go. I seem to remember some logs being over here. There's one left. There we go. We want it green, not red. Oh, there we are. Now we need four long sticks.
and we have our roof. We are dry. All right, let's see if we can't find ourselves a better vantage point. Oh yeah, looking sweet. Well, let's get back to it. Oh, I guess that was a bad idea. We seem to have injured ourselves. Arms are okay. Check our legs. Leg one is good. Leg two is not as good. So let's get one of our bandages that we've collected from the Moliniera plant. Wrap it up and we are good to get back to work because these walls aren't building themselves, unfortunately. Well, there we have our first structure. It ain't a lot, but it's our lot, and we can build on this. We can make a life here. Let's just open our door, and we can enjoy the sunset from the comfort of our jungle dwelling. <laughs>